Hey, my name is Ryan, and today I'm doing an update on the break-in with my Urban Wolf Club Colt boots. I have hiked in them, I've walked miles on pavement in them, and I have really broken them in. So I'm going to answer the question, what's happened? Are they falling apart or are they still an amazing value? If you remember from my first video, I was concerned about the softness of the sole, and I feel like I finally have a definitive answer. So what I'll do is I'll go over the boot, what it was like to break it in, and how it's wearing over time, and then hopefully uh, you will be more educated if this is the right boot for you. So thank you so much for watching the video. Please enjoy. The sun is setting on this day and it's casting a nice glow on uh, these boots. So I'll try to get this review while we still have some time in, but these boots have broken in just really, really nicely. I'm going to first go over the upper. So the leather on the upper is a nice leather. It's like a new buck. I'll try to get some close-ups. It's, it's a soft leather. It's definitely not something you'd polish up, but it definitely feels like a sanded full grain leather. I've got a couple of scratches. I don't know where they're at, but you know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty thick, hardy leather, but it's, it is also kind of soft and pliable. So it, it wasn't that hard to break in the upper leather. At least I don't think it was that hard because of what I did with the insole. So with the insole, the company gives you this really nice pour on insole. But I didn't use that. I went straight for the thick veg tan insole and I broke that in and man it is completely formed to my foot and really the front part of the boot it feels like it feels like it's on foam because it is conformed to the shape of my foot. Now the back part where the heel is there's so much leather here underneath the heel it is still really rigid and they give you that nice insole. Here it is and you have a ton of foam, so that would make it really comfortable. But I didn't go with that, so that was the only hard part. I compared breaking these in to breaking in my White's MP Sherman. So if you know about boots, a White's MP boot isn't a Goodyear welted boot. It's a stitch down boot. And when you have a stitch down boot, usually you don't have that layer of cork in between the, the cavity that the Goodyear welt makes. So it's like you're just sitting on leather. So when you first start, it feels like a brick. And then as you break it in over time, it gets more comfortable. But my whites still at the heel have always been really hard. So, I mean, it's not a walking boot. It's a nice working boot. It's a nice casual boot, but I wouldn't use it to walk, you know, miles on a hike. And that's what I did with these. I, I put a lot of miles on these and that heel is brutal. I mean, you just have a ton of leather there. So there's nothing, you know, really to do about that, but put this in. So Urban Wolf Club, they give you this. This is great. I would say size the boot with this because you can always break this in and then remove it over time. That's just what it is. It's having that nice veg tan insole is what I prefer, but now these are really comfortable. You don't feel those nails at all. It's just an amazingly comfortable boot. I could probably put this in because I sized these small, uh, knowing I would take this out. But now that it's conformed to my foot, I might be able to get away with it, especially, you know, in the hotter months where I'm not wearing wool socks. So just really awesome. I think the leather is holding up really nicely. Now this is a, you know, more of a unique leather than their other leathers where it seemed more standard, but it's really looking good. I've gotten these in rain. So that wasn't a problem either. One thing I will admit, my intrusive thoughts got the best of me, but can you really have intrusive thoughts about a boots? I should say my thoughts got the best of me. So this was a structured toe. And one night after a long walk, I was just playing with it and I just crushed it. I was just, so that, I did that. This had more of a structure here, but I wanted to see because it kind of made the, the toe look a little bit less pointy and I liked it so I just kind of kept going with it and I really like it so it kind of gave it I just kind of collapsed whatever structure was in there and it gave it a little bit more unique look to me not quite an unstructured toe look but a little bit more now I wouldn't recommend ever doing this because it was a structured toe it was probably some sort of elastic but I think I like it for 150 bucks I wasn't really afraid of ruining the boot and it looks cool but normally um, if you don't 
if you're not a crazy person like me, this you wouldn't have any of this creasing or it would just look normal and the structure of the boot held up fairly well. So that's just one thing to note about my boots that's a little bit different, but I think they look amazing. I, I am blown away. I, I like these boots way more than when I did the original video on them talking about how they're such a good price. So they're $150. And what you get with this boot, with the leather heel stack, the leather midsole, leather welt, the leather insole, it's just unbelievable. I, now that these are fully broken in, these are like some of my favorite boots. They're just so good. And I'm gonna tell you about the, the sole in just a minute. Just hold on just a sec. But yeah, these are just so good. They're so comfortable. I did, one of my com original complaints too was how wide that is and it's really just it's not that wide so it looks on foot really nice the boot just looks super attractive i like it i really don't have anything negative to say about it i should have probably sized right to be able to wear these and break it in with these but you know that's all me that's all me i will now get to what you're probably thinking of and that's the sole when i first got these out i felt this sole and it felt soft to me and you know it is it is soft it's really grippy but it is wearing super good i mean i'm not getting paid to say any of this guys this is not a sponsored review i paid for these boots with my own money i have no vested interest in this company if they do great awesome doesn't help me out i mean i can't believe how well this is holding up you know i did mention about how the stitches are close to the edge and that's just because when they stitch it, it just, it's at an angle a little bit. It looks perfect here. And this is a great welt. You could use this welt a bunch of times. I mean, even look at that welt joint. That's a really good welt joint. There's some $600 boots that don't have welt joints like that. But sorry, I, I keep getting distracted. It has just held up so nicely. Now this feels a little bit harder, which is fine. And you know, it has the typical heel strike. You know, with heel strikes, what I've learned with heel strikes is you get the most dramatic wear when you first start uh, breaking in a boot on the heel, but then it, at some point kind of plateaus that wear because you've kind of worn in where you hit the boot. So I don't know when I'm, that's going to happen, but I mean, I'm blown away with how much rubber is still left on these heels. And I've been walking on really brutal surfaces for a boot, you know, pavement, asphalt, a bike trail. I've talked about it in other break-in videos that what I'll do at night is my wife and I go on a two mile walk on a bike trail that's paved and I'll wear the boots and yeah, and I'm looking like an idiot wearing these boots on a bike trail, but it's helping me really see how these are breaking in. And it's just fantastic. I mean, look how nice that heel stack is. I just, I'm over the moon with these boots. There is nothing bad about these boots. How they've broken in just makes me love them even more. If you guys have any questions about these boots at all, please let me know. I'll try to answer them. I really, really want to cut one of these in half. You know, a lot of people have been saying that in my videos, you know, cut them, cut them in half or send them to Rose Anvil. And he's not really cutting a lot of boot brands like this in half anymore, you know? And, oh, I just, I really want to do it, but I, I really like the boots. Another thing I'll talk about is that that veg tan, I'm giving you guys horrible lighting here. I'm losing it quickly. So that veg tan heel counter that you can see, it's really nice. It's not super stiff like a Celastic heel counter. There's give to it. That's what's cool about the leather heel counter. And it has really nicely gripped my heel. So, I mean, I love it. I, I, I really like these boots. You know, I, I bought these boots for the video. I bought them for the content. You know, with a lot of boots, when you start doing YouTube videos, you start buying things kind of for the reaction, for what you can make out of the content and less out of something that you'd want to wear or something that would be a daily driver in your wardrobe. And I just love these boots. I bought them for the views, but now I really like them. So talk to the owner. We talked about the sole. He was telling me about the different grades of sole and how much testing they put into these soles to make sure that they would hold up over time. And, you know, I, I thought that was cool, but I didn't say anything about it in my video because I wanted to see if it really came true. And the soles are just really nice. Now, it's it's like any Vibram or any sole like that. It's going to wear over time, but that's what you expect with use. And, you know, you can get these resold. And because of how these are built, you're going to be able to resole these several times. I mean, look how much 
meat is left on that welt. A good cobbler could could get these resold. You could have these resold at a good cobbler for, for many times. These boots will last years, probably last longer than some of my more expensive boots, to be honest with you, just because of what's gone into them. So yeah, over the moon, I think they're great. No negatives. Any of the negatives I've had, I've mentioned, uh, but that's just, that's just how I feel about these boots. And so I might do another wear update on them. I kind of want to play with the color on these because, you know, that's the one downside to me is in, in my personal wardrobe, I don't have, you know, really a space color wise for these. I mean, they're great with fall colors, um, but for like an everyday work boot, it's just not something I have for this like Timberland yellow style of boot. So I was experimenting with different oils and waxes to put into it, see if it would change the color. But the color, color is pretty heavily pigmented. So even though the oils may give it a look or may darken it for a time, it kind of eventually goes back to what looks like this, which, you know, it's a nice boot. You, you guys might want this exact color for your own boots, but I want to experiment. I think I want to try to stain these just a little bit darker, just to give them a little bit more of a light brown tan look. So. Let me know if you guys think I should do that just to play around with them. And then it would be a little bit easier to get them in my, you know, weekly wardrobe because I really like them. Um, while we're talking about the break in, of course, you know, this is, you know, it's getting curvier. So it, it was pretty straight up and down when I first got them. So I guess that's one thing. There's some boots that have a really nice dramatic curve and that helps lock in the heel but I did notice that even though this isn't the curviest back it is very locked in so I have no heel slip with these boots which made them easier to do the hard break in than normal so normally if you have heel slip that could be what just tears your heel up and causes you to kind of you know tap out sooner than you normally would but the heel has been great so I mean they're awesome I for 150 bucks for 200 for 250 for 300 I was trying to think about what these are worth you know, compared or what, you know, how, what are they really worth? I mean, I don't really want them to sell them for any more than 150, but I was, the only thing I can think of that is a built like this is Parker's or Truman. So Truman is a heavy duty boot. You know, Truman does have better leathers. Let's just be honest. It's not like you're, these are just as good as Truman's and Truman's are more refined with their stitching and everything, but these are comparable to them just without you know, the fancier leathers of the Trumans. And so the Trumans are, they start at $400, go up to, you know, 500, depending on the leather. So to me, and they're made in the US, so that's a big thing. So to the, for, to me, these made in Mexico with this beefy of a boot, I mean, you're looking at 250 to 300 in value. I mean, maybe 275. I mean, they're just that good and you can get them right now for 175. So. I talked to the owner, he said after my video, and I, another YouTuber released a video about him too and like the same weekend, he had a ton of business. So that's good, I didn't mean to do it. I don't have any connection with him, but I'm glad to see a small business and getting some work. And so thank you guys for uh, buying them and didn't, you know, there was no affiliate link or anything like that, but I just like when people who are making good products get rewarded for making them. So I really appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions about the boot, let me know and I'll see you on the next one.